Hey everybody, with all of the recent questions and comments regarding copyright law and Let's Play videos, today I'm going to do a quick primer on how U.S. copyright law applies to that field. Now keep in mind that while this video can be applied to small Let's Players and larger Let's Players alike, just keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes and please remember the disclaimer. So if you're a Let's Player, here's five points you should keep in mind in terms of copyright. We're going to go over them first and then we're going to talk about them again. First off, any game content belongs to the creator. Second, any commentary and original content made by the Let's Player belongs to the Let's Player. Third and fourth, there are multiple ways to get around any possible copyright problems. Those include getting actual permission or arguing fair use. And fifth, YouTube itself is not going to be the body who decides whether something is copyright infringement or not. That's up to the courts. So let's start by looking at one and two together, because you may say, ah, oh, duh, but they tie into each other very well. Number one, anything that's in the game itself, graphics, sound, any of that, that belongs to the game creator. There's a bundle of rights that comes with copyright, but the, what you need to know as a basic user is that that stuff's not yours, so you can't just use it. However, the same kind of applies the other way around. Any commentary that you make regarding the game that's yours as the Let's Player. Any sort of original music that you create, any sort of original pictures that are not just coming from the game or anything, but something you actually create, those are all yours. So if you use game content just by itself, that's infringement. That's kind of a perilous place for Let's Players to be in. And just to be clear, you playing the game yourself, the method of playing, the input that you put, that's not a copyright question. You can't copyright a method of doing something. But pretty much where you're sitting at as a Let's Player is you are talking about copyrighted material. And there's two big hats that you can kind of go through to get around the copyright question. The first one is getting actual permission from the publisher. Some publishers will have blanket policies that say, no, we don't give permission for Let's Play videos. Sega is a recent example of that. However, other publishers, especially independent publishers, or say games like Minecraft or things like that, they love the exposure Let's Play videos get. And they do have policies that allow you to do it. Just blanket policies. If you're not sure of a video or you have a question, contact the publisher. See if you can get permission. If you can get permission, that saves you in a copyright sense no matter what the content. However, if you can't get permission or you're not sure or you just want to go for it in any way, there is the legal doctrine of fair use that could protect you as well. Now keep in mind that fair use is a murky water. It's very fact specific. I'm not going to go in this video today and say X is fair use, Y is not fair use. But I want to clear up two big misconceptions that I see people most often associate with fair use. First off, let's say you're not monetizing your video, so you're not making money off the video, and you didn't get permission, that can still be infringement. The commercial purpose of a video is only a factor in fair use, it's not dispositive one way or another. So if you're making no money, you can still be sued for copyright infringement. Second, acknowledging the source of the copyrighted material is not enough. That's not permission. This isn't like citing your sources for some research paper for a teacher. In terms of copyright law, if you don't have permission, and there's no fair use just saying, hey, look, this belongs to somebody else is you're still going to be infringing. Now, there are some factors that come into play with fair use, and this is rooted partially in the First Amendment and partially in uh, the, the U.S. Code. First off, the purpose and character of the use, whether it's commercial or not, that's a factor. The nature of the copyrighted work, the portion of the copyrighted work that's used, in other words, how much of the work are you reproducing, and the effect of the potential use on the market. Now, there are some strong arguments for why Let's Playing videos are fair use. Those fall under the fact that they're commentaries or criticisms of videos, and these are arguments that I've brought up in my own videos in the past. But to be honest, these factors really, it's not something that you can decide right off. There's a lot of legal wrangling that's going to come into play, which is where we get to point five. YouTube and their blanket policy at the very beginning when you become a partner with them, they tell you up front, they don't decide fair use. They don't decide copyright infringement. That's for a court of law. So if you get a copyright strike in your video, if you have to deal with any sort of copyright questions or answers, it could end up that you have to get an attorney. And if you have to get an attorney and you want to argue fair use, that's going to cost money. So you want to do a Let's Play video? That's fine. 
you can't get permission, you can try if you want, but if someone comes knocking saying, hey, this is my copyrighted material, I do not want you to use it or make a video about it, you have to do the cost-benefit analysis of yourself. And if you're not sure, or if you want to pursue it, is it worth going to an attorney and paying lots of dollars to fight whether this is fair use or legal use of copyrighted material in court. So that's all for now. That's a quick primer on Let's Play and copyright. If you have any questions, you're welcome to leave them in the comments. I will give general answers, but I'm not going to be giving specific legal advice. So that's all for now. Hope you've learned something.